So welcome to the Canadian Museum of Nature. Hi, so now we're in the, really the back of the fossil gallery. The fossil gallery talks about the whole biodiversity of the dinosaurs. Um, a very complex, you know, an unbelievable kind of robust species that disappears in extinction. And then it comes and tells us the story about the rise of the mammals. And this is the rise of the whale right here. You'll see that 50 million years ago, the whale was something like a dog-like creature. Um, now it would have lived alongside water bodies and fed on marine life. And you can see that from 50 million years ago to about 40 million years ago, it evolves where its legs disappear, it moves into the water, you can see here it's probably half terrestrial, half aquatic, and then becomes a fully aquatic creature up here, much larger as well, by the way, which is the predecessor to the whale. Okay, so we're walking up now. We're gonna head up to, uh, well, we're gonna head up first to the water gallery, I guess, uh, but then we're gonna check out the other galleries on the upper floors. You know, um, working at the museum, I pretty much always make the decision to walk the stairs uh, because, uh, well, not only does it help keep me fit, uh, but the elevators here are pretty slow. Uh, things are closed, so we'll have to scan in. Okay, yeah, we're still allowed our special access. Now, here's our great blue whale. Um, uh, Inside the museum, she has a nickname, which is Tallulah. Uh, but this whale is a great blue. Um, and so she was beached in Newfoundland, found on a beach in Newfoundland. She was transported uh, to actually the National Capital Region here on a train, and then buried for 10 years. Even after being buried for 10 years, they had a big job still to clean uh, blubber and flesh uh, off of the whale. Uh, you can still see marks where the oil is leaching out. And uh, every year at our cleaning blitz, uh, we cover the whale's um, skeleton with uh, what me as a marketing guy call handy wipes, um, very popular right now. Uh, and I'm sure <laughs> our conservationists don't like me calling them handy wipes. But basically she's covered um, in, uh, in uh, pieces of, I guess, a parchment, uh, which is soaked, which leaches out even more oil. Now you can see um, that we have up here on her back, uh, some of the vertebrae are clearly not originals. Uh, that's because they were missing. Uh, so this whale uh, will have died from a broken back. Uh, one theory is that uh, she was hit by a ship, um, but the other theory, and the one that, um, that our biologists have said are probably more likely, is that she got jammed in pack ice and the ice actually came and crushed and broke her back. So the great blue whale is the world's largest animal ever, bigger than the dinosaurs. Now, this whale um, is an adolescent, as I said. If she were full grown, she'd be 50% bigger again. In other words, this is two thirds of a full size whale. Um, now, interestingly, uh, you'll remember uh, down, in the, uh, down in the early mammal section, uh, we looked at the evolution of a whale. So I'm gonna ask you, uh, now these, these are clearly not real uh, specimens, these pieces, but it is part of the real whale and we have the real pieces in the Nas National Natural History Collection. Uh, so my question is, guess what those are? And the answer is, those are the whale's hips. They're called vestigial hips and that's all that's left from an evolutionary perspective of the whale's whole hips and leg assembly. So what we saw downstairs were very diminished limbs. This is what that's become in a modern whale, vestigial hips. And one other thing, here you get this amazing view of the inside of the whale. Uh, so I like to call this the Geppetto and Pinocchio view, because uh, if you've seen Pinocchio and they end up in the whale, here's where Geppetto goes, Pinocchio, we're in the belly of a great blue whale. And that would be what it would be like. With the museum closed under these very exceptional circumstances, um, we're glad that we were able to get an access pass to come in today and that we're able to show you around, uh, at least in camera, uh, the museum for this behind the scenes tour. Uh, we hope you stay well and stay safe. Uh, we'll look forward to welcoming you back so you can have a real tour for yourselves of our wonderful Canadian Museum of Nature when we open 
again, hopefully sometime very soon. We'll see you then, and we look forward to it.